Weaver Leather offers us so many different styles of breast collars, it's, it's amazing. The important thing for you to remember is pick the one you like. We'll talk about what they do a little bit, but really, frankly, they all do similar things and split frog hairs on how they do it better. The one I've got in my hand is a steer tripping collar. Well, it adjusts, it hooks both to your breast collar D right here, and it also hooks to your cinch D or your D ring here on your saddle. I prefer to hook it to my cinch D. <clears throat> That's your steer tripping style. You also have a pull-in collar. Pull-in collar lays up along your horse's neck like this and wraps up here to the swells of your saddle. Working much like an old draft horse collar and letting the horse really lean into the leather to pull from the saddle horn. You have your basic team roper style. And it comes in many options. They all come in many different options and styles. But your team roping style does exactly what the steer tripper does. It goes across the front of the chest, but then the team roper style also reaches down between the pectoral muscles and hooks to the front cinch, much like the pull-in collar does. Again, each one of them does the same job. It holds the saddle in place while you're pulling from the saddle horn or while you're headed uphill. That's what it does. But each one does it a little differently. The steer tripping collar, you'll notice, is very, very wide and flat. It covers a lot of surface, so when that steer hits the end of that rope and in really hard pressure, it, it spreads it out over a much bigger area, making the pounds of pressure per square inch smaller. Again, that's always my goal, reduce the pressure my horse is feeling. You can get breast collars in any style you want. You can get it in scalloped and, and be as decorative as you want. Put the conchos on and be pretty. We, Weaver has done all that for you. They've done a really good job. You can come back, you can get a narrow, small little breast collar. Now, if you take this breast collar and you compare it to this breast collar, or even the steer tripping collar, well, you know you have a lot more pounds of pressure per square inch on this one than you do on that one. On the other hand, if you're just riding around the show arena or out on a trail and just want to hold your saddle in place, this is adequate. You're not jerking any big steers or pulling a Angus bull around, you're just holding your saddle in place and it's doing the job it's supposed to do. The contoured style breast collar is kind of the best of both worlds, or offers you some of the best of both worlds. Uh, it's not really the team roper just comes straight back to the saddle. It's also not quite the pulling collar coming straight up to the gullet. Instead, it comes in here and it lays over that horse's shoulders really nice, and it's cut to fit him to be as comfortable as possible for him in all that we're doing.